Why, hello there, everybody. Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to our Paradise Pug Nation Mega Mod and Ultra series, guys. Today's a big day. Today is a, an, an enormous day. I've spent, and I kid you not, I've spent the last 11 hours building up and almost finalizing our base just so I can do a big old grand unveiling today. Today, I unveil to you the biggest addition to our base this season. In fact, probably the biggest addition, the biggest reveal, the biggest everything I've ever unveiled in Ark history. That's right. Today is a big old day. I'm so darn excited to share it with you guys. I hope you guys are equally excited because this is something I've been planning for such a long time and I didn't want to give away the plans, but today we're finally going to unveil it. And if you guys are excited as me, I just ask one little itty bitty thing of you. Please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain. Those thumbs ups. We're shooting for 15,000 thumbs ups today. You know what? Once I show you, once I show you what I'm about to show you, you're going to understand. You're going to understand what I'm talking about about and you're not going to be able to stop yourselves from hitting that thumbs up guys let me introduce you to the new castello di miola the castle of miola oh boy oh boy oh boy you can already see what's sitting up the end of that throne i mean altar oh darn it there's a throne okay we've finally got ourselves a throne but let's take it one step at a time shall we this is the current state of our castle it has actually moved again since last episode. You may actually be able to notice it's a little bit higher than it was last time. I lifted it. I moved it. I shuffled it around. And in the process, I lost all of our items, unfortunately. I made I, I made a few errors. Um, only, only some of them. Not all of them, thankfully. Otherwise, I'd be really, really upset. But here we go. Let me show you around, okay? First things first. We got more lights. We got more torches. Oh, boy. We got something stopping around outside our base. What's that? What is it? I can hear something stopping around. I don't like it. Maybe it's just a titan. I don't know. All right. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to interrupt me. Hey, let's get to it. Okay. Let's get to it. So as we... It's going to distract me. Where's this titan? Where is it? Where is it? I'm trying so hard. Oh, these guys. Hold on. I'm trying so hard not to... I'm trying so hard not to spoil the unveiling right now. Oh, these guys are going to... I'm going to wreck your faces. How dare you? What are you doing? Can you just stop? Can you guys behave yourselves? Yeah, that's what you get, T-Rex. That's what you get, okay? Now, back to bigger and better and greater things. Because today is all about the bigger, better, and greater things. Let's be sure the beautiful people my base. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? Third time lucky. This is my base. This is all the old parts of my base. Let me introduce you to the new parts of my base. We finally have ourselves pretty well a completed altar. This altar kind of turned out looking a lot more like evil and sinister than I had ever planned. Um, but I guess that's just like the way things go. <laughs> Turns out uh, this is my Rockwell throne. That's right. I'm a, I'm a worshiper of the God of Rockwell or something. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But uh, that's that's only the minor introduction. Okay, that's, that's not what we're focused focusing on today that's that's just oh 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 okay that's just that's just somewhere that i can just perch myself on top and um and that's really it as you can see i've gone ahead and filled in our little hole that was once uh behind our our where our throne was gonna sit i suppose and we've got what is this oh oh we got a little little, little little bit of a platform out here and what a view what an absolute beautiful view but no this isn't the best view that we've got to share with you guys today. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm so not excited to share this with you. Guys, I told you. I told you we were going to build a dungeon. Well, guess what I've gone and done? I've gone ahead and I've built a dungeon. That's right. I've gone ahead and built a dungeon with two entrances to it. <laughs> are we going to go left or are we going to go right? Or technically, are we going to go right or are we going to go left if we're actually, you know, know our right from left? Let's go right, okay? So... This here is the staircase to the dungeon. This is where we are going to be uh, keeping and entrapping all of the uh, the dinosaurs that are uh, uh, forbidden. The forbidden dinosaurs. We've tamed two of them already. So let's go and head down. As we head down our little steps here, <laughs> we are going to encounter our... This is our dungeon. This is what I've been talking about for so long. Mr. Fister is here. He's keeping a very close eye on our two forbidden dinosaurs. They, it, really, he's not even he's not even like watching them. He's, he's he's watching me. He's overlooking me so that I don't I don't take them out of their cage and break them out and go for a bit of a a, an, a forbidden killing spree. Ah, oh, nah, guys, this is my uh, this is what I've been working on. I've been planning this for quite some time. Uh, I spent so long on this, so long on this. Um, 
It's been in the works and it, it actually came out so much better than I'd ever expected. So much time just getting like the, the, the ceiling and everything to line up all perfectly. I'll show you guys from the outside in a second. We got all these torches, foundations, everything is just lined up perfectly. I am so pleased that this is finally done. In fact, I'll, I'll probably still add to it some more just because I do that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, oh, this is probably my greatest accomplishment yet. Obviously out here still isn't like completely done, but this is, uh, this is entirely, entirely done. It's, it took me so long to do. Um, everything is so, it's, it's fitted perfectly. I don't even know how to express it. I'm so glad to finally unveil this. Uh, but let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? I'm just gonna float our booties out here really, really quickly. So, this is what it's looking like from the beach. Let me just pop on over here, okay? This is the current status of our castle. It is ridiculous. It is, it is a monstrosity. Look, we've even got all these little pillar beams, like, supporting it. Um, obviously doing absolutely nothing. I actually had to shift this thing around a few times using the structure saver mod, um, just to make it fit perfectly between a few of these rocks. There's a, there's a kind of rock that it juts into over there. Um, I even wanted to make it look nice and pretty from the outside, which I think we've actually managed to do surprisingly. It looks freaking awesome. Um, this rock over here was a pest. I got so close to being done with it, and then this rock here was sticking right into to the middle of my staircase. So I had to go and shift it. And in the process, I crashed about a hundred times, but then we got there eventually. But the main thing is it's done. It is finally done. And oh boy, I don't, I, I don't think I'll ever, ever, ever build anything greater than this. This is like my biggest accomplishment yet. I've never built downwards. I've never started on ground level or on a mountainside and then built down, down a cliff. As you can see, it's literally like built into the side of a mountain. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so glad that it is it's it is where it's at. And I hope you guys like it. Honestly, this is what it's... I, I, built, I built this for no reason other than just to like... So that it looks cool and I can share with you guys a really, really cool creation. I can't get enough of it, man. I can't, I can't stop looking at it. I, ah, oh, it just looks so darn awesome. Especially with old Myth Wukong and Tai Lung down here. Yeah. It's so, ah, oh, I'm stoked. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But I think we should get into this video, right? I think we should do something instead of just talking about some building thing. I, I didn't even, I didn't even know how to like introduce this episode just because uh, I didn't even know. I don't even know right now. Anyways. Let's go do some stuff. There is actually a creature in this world that I've been uh, wanting to check out for quite some time. Haven't actually come across one in the wild just yet, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to check out. This guy is, it's kind of uh, fitting to go and try and tame this guy up today because the guy I'm talking about is actually the, uh, let's just call him the brother of the demon saber. The brother of our Tai Lung, who is currently one of our forbidden dinosaurs locked up down below in our dungeon. Uh, I'm talking of a creature known as the galvanized wolf, I believe. Uh, now, we do have a transmitter. I moved it. I don't know why I got it in my inventory right now, but we do. I actually don't know if any of these guys exist in the wild right now, but I figured that. So, well, there, there we go. Okay, that answers that question. There's a ton of them. But one in particular that is a very, 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 very high level. Galvanized wolf. Apparently, these wolves are ridiculously powerful. They're ridiculously cool. And I'm going to tame one up if my life depends on it. I, 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 I can't not. We got level 907. We're going to go and get him. The only thing is, like I said, I kind of broke my world up a little bit today. And we lost a lot of our items. I still got some structures. I still got some uh, resources. I've still got my souls, I think. There's some souls. We've got... Uh, I think we've got our stuff in here as well. Other than that, though, everything else is gone. Yeah, I messed up, okay? I did a bit of an oopsie. My dignity going to be a little bit upset with me, but what are you going to do about it? Anyways, the point I'm getting to is, uh, lucky for us, we had a bunch of stuff in our inventory, like team helpers. And oh, wait, no, we're good. Oh, no, we're fine. Oh, where I was going was this, was I needed to go and kill a primal to get some instant golden kibble. I guess we don't need to do that because we've already got it. All right, fine. Let's go. Let's go do this thing. <laughs> let's go find us a galvanized wolf. Um, do I have a bowler? Do I have a ball? I do. Oh, and also I realized we got this here dropped from one of the bosses that we killed, which is bloody unbelievable because this here is obviously equipped to boo. Wait a second. Where are my arrows? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, that's got stuff in it. What do you, you just got dying you? Yeah, we lost a lot of our dino drops as well. So that's a little bit sad. Oh no. What did I do with my arrows? Oh, I lost my arrows, I think. Oh no, that sucks so bad. I'm talking about these arrows. The 
the, the yellow ones. I had a chunk of them somewhere. What did I do with them? I guess they're gone. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, all right. We've only got one of them. Anyways, the point I was getting to was, obviously, you got to shoot these out of a compound bow. Uh, wait a second. Wait. Wait. Oh, it's a paradise compound. Oh, I thought I thought we could use our regular compound bow with these arrows, but turns out I'm just a dummy and it doesn't work that way. Never mind. I'm stupid. Let's go and do this thing, though. <laughs> Let's go get us a galvanized wool. Wolf. 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 Anyways, this guy right here. We're going for this one. 7354. I don't know much about these guys other than that. They're supposed to be really, really strong, really, really powerful. Um, 7354, right? Oh my gosh, I'm ready for it to get in the coordinates. Like I said, I've been I've been away for a long time. Okay, my brain ain't functioning 100 percent correctly right this second. So we're probably gonna make some slip-ups today. Uh, obviously, we've already done a bunch of them. Uh, do I have a GPS? I do. Ooh, if we didn't have that, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, damn, that's a funky looking magma saw. Also, Lego Argentavis. We know that we do not trust. We do not trust anywhere that we find Lego dinosaurs. Because we always end up dying when we find them. Anyways, uh, where are we going? I thought it was 73. Uh, I thought it was 73.54. Or am I losing my mind? Nah, it must have been down here. 7354 should, should be over here somewhere. If this galvanized wolf does wolf does exist, I imagine he's going to be roughly in this type of area. I think that's him right there. Hold on a second. I think this is him. He's a little lightning beast. Look at him. Oh, I thought he spotted me. All right, hold on. We're going to see him. He killed something. Oh, wow. Okay. He just like sent off an electric explosion. See, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I don't actually know how strong these guys are. No. Oh, 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 they're that strong. Oh, okay. That's actually, that's actually quite strong. 1.4 million to a four. 345,000 health. Uh, if this guy's not vulnerable, then I don't like our chances, but I guess. What was that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, he just sent off some sort of explosion. I am so worried about going anywhere near this thing. But I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Hold on. I'm going to bother him again because we've already wasted time. I know that he's going to... I'm, I'm assuming he's going to try and attack back. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think we've got him... Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. We're just going to keep our eyes open. That's all we got to do. Just keep our eyes open and keep him bowlers. If we keep him bowlers, we should be A-OK. -okay. Dang. If only I had all of my, like, my golden arrows, we'd be able to knock this guy out without even setting foot on the ground. Anyways, I don't think we're going to have too many issues right here. I'm so darn excited to test this guy out, though. Uh, just to see how strong he is. I want to see if he ends up stronger or weaker than the Demon Saber. The Demon Saber, obviously, is a one-shot KO of just about anything. He was one-shotting bosses, dealing like 300 million health. Well, it's time to find out if his... Uh, if his hold on, you're a, Oh, it's a sister. Oh, it's going to be a sister. It's, it's a female galvanized wolf. Well, time to find out if her sister or his sister, I can't even remember what Tai Lung is, if his sister is equal, lesser, or more powerful. And uh, all I got to do to find out is chuck one of these in there, and boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Let's do this thing. So, we're going to go and take you for a bit of a spin right now. I'm going to go and grab my primal griffin. Go and chuck him in the to the Pokeball. Thank you very much. You got, any, you got any cool stuff? Yeah, I'll take that. We can leave the old rest of the stuff. All right, my galvanized wolf. You're an interesting beast. I oh no, I need a I need a saddle. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Since when do you need a wolf saddle? Uh oh, hold on a second. I can craft it on me. Except you don't have. What was that noise? You guys heard that, right? I'm not. I'm not hearing things, am I? Either way, I don't want to, like, wait around. Uh, okay. Galvanized Wolf, you might need to sit tight for a sec. Actually, I've got an idea. I've got a really good idea. Let's, uh, what am I looking for right now? This. Cryopod. All right. Get cryopodded real quick. Get cryopodded. I'm going to carry you to one of my teleporters. I do have one nearby, luckily. And, uh, because I have the ability to fly, we should be A-OK. -okay, uh, I think. Where's my nearest teleporter, though? I think it's... I think it's over this direction. It's just over here. 
So I thought I moved a little bit faster than this. I feel like, I feel like something's slowing me down. Am I like, am I like super heavy or something? What is going on? I'm waiting for that. Oh, dang. Okay. That's, that, that's a little bit of a concern. I wasn't expecting to come across one of these guys today. Uh, this, oh, snap. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that is, that is one of the myth bosses. This is the guy that chased us through the jungle that, 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 that time. Um, yeah. Okay. Maybe we're lucky that we're not running through the beach right now. Cause that would have, uh, that would have been pretty devastating running into that guy in the wild. But hey, maybe, just maybe, should our galvanized wolf be as strong as I'm expecting it to be? And maybe there is a chance we'll be able to return and take him down towards the end of the episode. Let's actually see what happens there. Either way, though, Galvanized Wolf gets dropped, son. And I guess I need to craft you a saddle. Because, uh, you know, you're not like an ordinary wolf that can get ridden without a saddle. You're a special wolf. Because that's got a special saddle, too. All right. So let's see what you're made of. I've been told this guy is quite powerful. So I guess uh, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> oh, and well, what better of a target to test it out on than a rock golem? Okay. 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 Hold on. Obviously, rock golems have resistance, but we're only dealing about 40,000 damage. Or oh, 4,000 damage. Wait, what? Oh, I guess not. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh okay. 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 Galvanized Wolf, quite strong. Galvanized Wolf, really, really quite strong. Okay, let's just get you here uh, leveled up first, okay? Let's just get you a nice little chunk of health. That way uh, you don't die on me. Uh, I, I, I want to go test that out again, okay? This time with a more worthy opponent. Bronto. Oh, oh, it deals Torpor? Oh, is that the dragon? Why is there a dragon so close to my base either way? I don't like that. Um, 44,000 damage. That's, that's, that's a solid chunk of damage. But why does it only damage? Whoa, wait a second. He summons minions? What are these? Oh my gosh. All right. Hold on. Attack this target for me. Attack it. Attack the target. Attack the target. I really got to learn what the whistle butt. All right. Attack that target. If you are my sprites, then I guess you don't. I'm, I'm so confused. I think that was the C attack. I think, I think when I press C, he sits down and he summons sprites. Okay. I kind of want to, I just want to send him to attack something. No, don't whistle passive. Just attack the target. There's a, there's apparently a, there's a button that, oh, there we go. That's the button I'm looking for. Oh, wait, did it work? Yeah, I read this in the comments of uh, today's video. Apparently it's the right little arrow button. Press the right, right arrow button. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to remember that for next time from now on. Either way, a little sprite's darn powerful. Okay, so that's our C attack. Uh, we don't have a control attack. We don't have an X attack. We do have a left click attack which deals that sort of damage. And then we've got the right click attack, which does... Oh, I can't get close to the bro Brontos. I can't, I can't get close to them. They keep knocking me back. <laughs> we'll see about that, Brontos. You ready? Right click attack. Mm, okay, this is gonna be strong. Oh, this is gonna be real, 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 real strong. Okay, let's find out, shall we? Ah, they keep launching me. Let's get that melee damage up a couple levels. And then we'll see, we'll see what that does for a start, okay? <laughs> Stop! The tail on these Brontes is so big. All right. All right, yeah, this, this is gonna be strong. If that's what five levels in melee damage does, then what is this gonna do? We've got a big elixir on us. Let's just drop that in there. All right, here we go. Time to get this guy cranked up. So, let me get that speed up a little bit for a start. Let's get it up to like 500%. That's at least gonna let us run. It's gonna get us leap and bound and we can just move around like it's nobody's problems. This is, oh, I guess we'll just destroy these guys because <gasps> that is, what in the world is that? Ooh, Nightmare Pegasus. Oh, I wanna take one of these guys so bad. They're actually not that strong. I thought they were a lot stronger than that. Also, what is, oh, it's a Brad. That's what Brad looks like. Hey, Brad. How do you think that's actually pronounced? Is it just Brad? Or is it Brad? Brad? Like, where do you stop? Where do you start holding the A? If I had 
good set of vocals. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, no. We've already cracked the 1 million mark. And we've got a ton more levels to go. Let's keep it going then, I suppose. Let's keep it going. We already know where this guy's going to end up by the end of the day. He's going to be locked up in that dungeon. Under the watchful eye of Mr. Fister the Protector. Um, but hey, doesn't mean we can't have our fun with him today. So currently our just regular left click attack. Bit dealing about half a million damage. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. What does this look like when he's like zoomed out, by the way? There's like a giant... Wait. Kind of looks like a lightning beam is coming from the sky. It might, it might indeed be. It might indeed be. Uh, left click. Oh. <laughs> oh, hold on. There's a Titan over here. These guys are great for XP farming. Whee! Boom! Oh, oh, oh no. Wait, what? I knocked it out? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're joking. This guy, <laughs> oh, oh snap. This guy, is this, is he a one shot knockout? Because he just dealt 13 million torpor with a single hit. The thing is that you can't spam this attack. Have a look at that. So right now, even though I'm dropping it, there must be a massive cooldown on actually dealing damage with that hit. Interesting. Okay. So how much damage does my right click deal right this second? Oh, Lego Dilo. The perfect, the perfect test dummy. Actually, you're super cute. How cute is this little guy? Ow. Oh. oh, you don't spit venom? Oh, okay. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> Five million damage. What? Okay. 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 Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to take this guy up to our favorite old friend. Our buddy old pal. Our longest friend. I'm taking him up to Centurion. I feel like it's only... Wait. Oh, okay. We're going to be careful. Oh, we're going to be careful. Hold on. Hold your horses. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. My bad. Okay. I got to remember. A lot of these dinosaurs... Oh, that's probably one of the only creatures that could take me down. It's going to avoid him. That di... Oh, okay. No, hold on. There's gorillas and stuff on, on the way up here. I forgot. Also, I forgot this guy can't run straight up steep cliffs. So, we've probably got to take out... Oh, no. All right. We got to be careful. We got to be really, really careful. This guy takes a ton of fall damage. So, as powerful and as strong as this wolf is, its weakness... Oh, no. <laughs> I got him stuck. As I was saying, his weakness seems to be with fall damage. Whenever he's falling, he uh, he doesn't fare too well. Okay, he doesn't he doesn't do he doesn't go so well. So we basically just got to be very very careful when it comes to falling from places. Uh, no matter if it's a small fall, we're gonna get him wedged in a rock again, or a large fall, where he seems to just wipe out all of his health. How am I going to get him up there? I don't even know. I don't even know if there's a proper way to get up this mountain. Uh, I guess that works. <laughs> I guess that. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh, he's going to take full damage. Nope. I'm dismounting. I'm dismounting. No chance. No chance I'm allowing that to happen. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Let's get you up. No. Okay. That's not a big fall, but I'm not going to risk it. Not going to risk it. How am I going to get him up there? Sorry, guys. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, this doesn't look like the right way, but maybe I could go up here a little bit. Yeah, this actually doesn't look too bad. All right, we're, we're getting somewhere, I think. All I can see is white. Uh, yeah, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We're slowly working our way up. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a nice looking rock drake. Uh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Not nice enough to survive my uh, my attack, unfortunately. But but let's keep it going, shall we? Feel like we're getting close. Can't be much further. Here we go. I think we've reached the top. Maybe not. Maybe we're close. Yeah, here we are. Can you actually go through this gate? By the way, I've never tried. No, I guess not. Okay, worth a shot. Let's go and scoot our Kabuti around. Where is old Centurion? Where are you, you big old Chunga? You big old Mecha Chunga? Oh, guess this guy can't break rocks. All right, here we go. Yeah, he's home. 
All right. Hello, buddy. I'm sorry, but uh, yes, I'm here to kill you yet again. <laughs> All right. How are we talking? 51 levels. That's what I'm talking about. I would actually cry right now if it turns out I had an experience potion on me, but... Oh, we do! Uh, drop that one in there as well. Why not? Alrighty, so... I think we're going to get a little bit more health, just for, just for the fun of it. Well, obviously, and for the survival aspect of it, because we need that. May as well drop one of them in there, because why not? We're already quite hungry anyways. Uh, and the rest, they're all going into melee damage. You know, you know the drill. You know the drill. You know how it goes. Every level, once we got our health sorted and our movement speed sorted, goes into the old melee damage. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous right now. Because now I have to get down from here. And we all know what's going to happen now. Uh, probably going to probably gonna get this guy killed when he falls to his death. It sucks that I can't test his damage up here. So I guess we're just going to have to go for a leap. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to go for it. Let's do this thing. Three, two, one, go! I don't know how far we're going to make it. Um, all right, we're going to make it over this cliff. Yeah, you bet we are. Straight to the... Ooh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Yep, we're still going. We're still going. All right, we're going to hit this tree. Just don't... Okay, and we're out. And we're off. Good. All right. I was a little nervous, but it turns out we were nervous for nothing. All righty. Let's test out this damage now, hey? Left click. Wait. Did he, did he even get any... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yep. 1.3 million. It's looking pretty good. It's looking really good. He's not quite where we want him to be, but he's close. He's really, 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 really close. Uh, we haven't tested out his right click attack just yet. <laughs> 10 million damage. Not bad. Not bad. It's nothing groundbreaking, to be honest. It is, it is strong. But it's not like game breaker just yet. No, 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 no. We still got to take him up to the next level. Oh, that was a bit of fall damage. Nah, he's all good. He's all good. All right. I see a Titan over here, though. That is like blinding. It hurts my eyes when I use that attack. Hold on. All right. You asked for it. That's what you get. Hey, Titan. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it literally evaporates anything that comes into contact with it. It doesn't just kill it. It just, it, it evaporates it. It just gets like soaked up in a, in an electrical ball of goodness. Anyways, let's take you up. Oh, I just realized something. I'm not going to be able to craft an XP elixir out here because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I lost all my berries. I'll try anyway, but I, I got a bad feeling. Hold on. Let me try this out. Um, elixirs. So we've obviously got the big XP. No, we can get them. Okay. And then there's the frozen elixir, which gives you even more for some reason. But I don't have rare mushrooms or rare flowers. No. Big XP elixir it is. In fact, let's get a whole chunk of them. And we'll just we'll just max this guy out and see how strong we can get him. Or her. It's a it's it's a she. By the way, anyone got any naming suggestions for our galvanized wolf? Let me know. Let me know. And let's see how strong this guy can get. Alrighty. We've got another, level, another 70 levels up our sleeve. So we're going to go and increase the health a bit. Because why not? 5 million. Looking pretty good now. Fantastic. Go and chuck one of them in there. Just so that he, uh, he don't die too quickly. And the rest going into melee damage. I actually regret putting so many levels into movement speed. Because he probably moves a little bit too fast for his own good now. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's see what you can accomplish for us now, hey? Let's see what sort of damage we're dealing now. I'm at... Oh, hello. Oh, wait, what are you? Doesn't matter what you are. This guy's a tech saber. Wait a second. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Hold on. I want to tame you up. I want to tame you. I want to tame you up. Can you get bowled? No, you can't bowler it. Ouch. Hold on. I'll knock you out then. I'll knock you out. Get knocked out. Go to sleep. Oh, yeah, she hurts. He's hurting me as well, by the way. Not just not just the dinosaur that I'm like riding. He bloody hurts me when I run out, run out, run into him. Come here. Oh no! What are you doing? You killed it. I was trying to tame it, you banana. Oh, you dummy! What what are you what are you what what are you doing? Oh uh, well, I guess that's on me. Let's see how strong this guy is, though. All right, 13 million strong. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. 
That's that's ridiculously good. I don't think it's like spine. Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta be careful. This guy's like a little like sling. This guy's like a little ping pong ball. Or a pinball. He's like a little ball in a pinball machine. Just slingshotting his way between mountains right now. I don't really feel great about trying to take on Spinebreaker, but I'd love to see him try and take on the Elemental Titan. Uh, there is another Elemental Titan down here. The Elemental Titans sort of become like our test dummy. I don't know how that happens, but I guess, I guess, I guess it just did. Um, oh my God, that is ridiculous. I want to see what that looks like from a distance though. Because every time I've seen it fire, we've pretty much been like right on top of him. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, he's just over here. There he is. There's his big old butt. Hey, buddy. Um, how much health you got again? 32 million. But it's, it's a solid chunk. It's a solid chunk of health. But how's he going to fare against uh, my old galvanized... <gasps> oh, I forgot to check. I forgot to check. Hold on. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. What about my little sprats? Can I go and send them to, to attack him? You want to take this guy instead? My little sprites. Yeah. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Mecha Rex. Oh, they're not going to. They're not going to kill it. Wait. No. No, it came quite close, to be honest. Uh, I'll go and finish the job. <laughs> All right. There's one thing left for us to kill. And that is the elemental titanosaur. 32 million health. Let's see how we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I meant it when I said it. This guy just evaporates everything. Like, you can just run around spamming right-click on every... This guy too strong. This guy way too strong. He might not deal, like... Oh, he's a slow swimmer, though. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. He may not be, like, dropping the same sort of bombs that uh, the, the Demon Saber was. Demon Saber was dealing a lot more damage in one hit. But this guy, you can just... You can just... You can just keep clicking it. He can just keep picking his attack. There's like no cooldown on the darn thing. But hey, I did sort of allude that there could be a little end of episode challenge ahead of us, right? And I plan to stand by my word. I think, uh, much to my like better judgment, I think we're actually going to head on over to, I think it's this, this teleporter, right? Or is it that one? Is it that one? It was this one. Okay, good. I said we we're gonna come down here and pay the old the old myth boss over here a visit, alright? I got a really bad feeling about it. But sometimes you just gotta take a risk. Sometimes you gotta take a chance. Sometimes you just gotta roll the dice and see what happens. And oh gosh. Much to what's probably gonna be my regret. We're gonna do exactly that. Wait a second, I got 35 more levels. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's time for us to see how strong a myth boss, in fact, is. I just want to, like, wake him up. Can I just wake you up? Yeah, okay, he's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. All right, he's awake. <laughs> okay. So, this guy here has... Wait, I wonder if I can knock it out. Did he just throw a rock at me? I want to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much health he actually has. Oh, he's burrowing again. I right, now's my chance. Oh! Wait, what? Wait, no! <laughs> Wait! He didn't even attack me! Oh, damn, he fast as well. He didn't even attack! Uh, I think... I think he had like... Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm up here right now. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, I, I, I saw it going a little different to that. I'm not going to lie. Like, I didn't I didn't see us. Oh, I don't even know. I thought we'd at least have an opportunity to fight. Oh, snap. These guys are tough. I mean, I should have guessed it. But I was hoping maybe that he had like a bugged out amount of health. And that maybe it would just go to zero. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that there'd be some sort of bug on our side that might like make that work or something. But... All that happened was our damage was just repulsed back to us and killed us. It, kill, it, kill, it, killed, it killed my poor little wolf. I don't know how I survived it, to be honest, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go and poke the bear anymore. All right. Um, what are you going to do? That was a mistake. That was a big old mistake. Uh, but mistakes happen. 
Uh, especially especially when I'm the one playing the game. We make a lot of mistakes. Especially when I haven't had a whole lot of sleep today. Why am I here again? No, no, no. I'm trying to get back to my base. Oh, wait a second. Since when does this teleport wild dinosaurs? Or has it always done that? All right, I'm glad I found out when it was just a little carno and it wasn't like some boss that I was fleeing because that would be absolutely terrifying. Anyways, guys, unfortunately, we don't have a new member to throw into our dungeon. I honestly thought that the galvanized wolf was going to be ending up down here, but I guess, uh, I guess it's just, I guess it's just us. Maybe I belong in here. I'm the forbidden player. <laughs> guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. I'm not going to lie. I feel like my commentary wasn't really up to scratch today. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to credit that to the fact I didn't sleep much last night. And I've been playing this game for over 12 hours today. Don't worry. We'll be back better than ever tomorrow. I promise you. But until then, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.